Hi, this is Trey Passer, and this is my comic book update for the week. Um, I have, I think, about six titles here. There we go. I'm just going to go through them and just give you a basic overview of them. And these are six titles that I've collected before in the past, and I highly recommend them. So I'm just going to go through. The first one is uh, Justice League. This is part of the DC Comics, the New 52, when they uh, revamped all their new titles and stuff. Okay, this is uh, Justice League issue number three. And as you can see from the cover, it has Wonder Woman on it. Okay, I'm fighting on it. Let me focus that. There we go. Pardon the glare there. But it has her fighting there with Green Lantern, Superman, Batman, The Flash. There we go. Okay. And if you remember the last, my last update, uh, it ended with the uh, Dark Sides and Minions coming across. Okay. And the comic begins. <laughs> There we go. I can see that good enough. There we go. It begins with Major Steve Trevor, of course, uh, asking where is uh, uh, Wonder Woman at. And then if you look down at the bottom panel there, you see a big hole. Hold on, let me show you that. You see a big hole in the wall right there where she crashed through. There you go. I think you can see a good shot right there. And of course, and then you get a great opening shot right there. A woman, Wonder Woman, walking down the street, and people in amazed and awe at her, <laughs> and she's walking down the street with a sword. <laughs> okay, and then there's a little panel right there on the on this side, right there, where she meets a little girl who's not a, not in awe of her, and she gets her first taste of ice cream. <laughs> okay, and uh, what I love about this Jim Lee and uh, this new Jim Lee, uh, Jeff John J Jim Lee book is that the artist is fantastic in it. There you go, there's another shot of Wonder Woman, you know, and Steve Trevor catching up to her, tell, telling her, you know, she can't go out in public, you know, she has to be careful. And of course, at that right exact moment, some more of Dark Side's minions come through, and there's a great shot right, excuse me, right there. Dark Side minions coming through. There we go, right there. Nice shot. There you go. <laughs> The artwork is just fantastic, and the story is great too. And here you go, and then you go back to um, to Detroit, where um, Victor Stone, aka Cyborg, is uh, his father is is vowing to stay with him and and to help him. And in the middle of all that mess, <laughs> you know, the city is being overrun by you know dark sized minions. I forgot exactly what they call those creatures, flying creatures. They have a name which I can't remember. But there you go, and there's a great shot right there. Victor Stone just, you know, just incinerated, basically. And his father vowing to stay with him, okay, and do whatever he has to do, okay? And, and there's another great shot right there. Goes back to, uh, you know, Superman, Green Lantern, The Flash, and Batman fighting these minions and destroying them. And there's a great interplay between uh, Green Lantern and, and The Flash and stuff, you know, where they make a joke about uh, Batman, they thought Batman was uh, a vampire or something. <laughs> okay, and then again, there's Superman just absolutely destroying, if you look there on the right there, Superman actually destroying some of the dark sized minions. Okay. And there's another great shot of Superman right there. There you go. The artwork, like I said, the artwork and the stories is fantastic in it right there. Okay, and Again, there's another shot on this side right here of, of Vic, you know, Victor Stone's father, you know, taking him to the lab, and he's uh, he's vowing to do anything to, to hold on to him. He said he's not going to lose him like he lost his mother. Okay, and again, there's more shots of uh, Green Lantern and Superman and everybody fighting those minions. Okay, and then guess who shows up? <laughs> Wonder Woman. A great shot right there. Great. Two page spread right there, Wonder Woman fighting dark sized minions. Okay, right there, just a beautiful shot. Okay, and then uh, <laughs> another great shot of Wonder Woman. If you look in their upper left hand corner, right in this right here, there's a great sort of a splash in Green Lantern and the flash going wow in Green Lantern go crying dibs <laughs> uh, on Wonder Woman. And then on the right, on excuse me, on this side, there's a great nice shot of a uh, Victor Stone's, you know, father you know, putting him into the, you know, to the technology, using that technology to, to do everything he can to save his son. Okay, even 
even though the people are telling him that he's crazy, he can't be doing this, but he's he's pushing on. Okay, and again, there's a on this excuse me, on this side, you see there's another shot of uh up there Victor Stone getting the stuff grafted to his skin and him screaming and then Wonder Woman meeting Superman and everybody else, and then Flash pointing out that the people are gathering by the ocean, and then you see a great shot of Dark Side, and at the same time you see Victor, uh, you know, Victor Stone getting, getting the uh, stuff metal grafted onto him. That's a great shot, right? No, right here, not there, right there, the Dark Side. Right? You look from suddenly, so you can really see that, a Dark Side right there, and a Victor Stone getting. Skin, gra you know, the metal grafted onto a skin, and and then all of a sudden, you know, something crashes into the ocean <laughs> and rises up, and they're wondering what it is. You know, they're gathering all the heroes, the Green Lantern, Superman, the Flash, and Batman, and Wonder Woman, wondering who it is. And then you see, all of a sudden, something comes out of the ocean, rises out of the ocean, and somebody's asking a question. They was wondering if they knew what this was, <laughs> okay? And they drop it at the feet, right there, Wonder Woman. And then the last shot for this comic, a great shot of Gesu <laughs> out of the water of Aquaman. <laughs> there you go. I don't know if you can see that good enough. Great shot of Aquaman right there, and it says next Aquaman Rising. Okay, there you go. <laughs> he looks bad. It's completely badass. And he also says, I believe, uh, they were in the water too. So who's in charge here? I vote me. <laughs> and so just, that's just a great shot of Aquaman right there. It looks total badass. Exactly. Like I said, I'm loving what they're doing with the Justice League. Okay. Comic. Um, since I don't want this comic, this uh, video to go on forever, I'm just going to show you the titles that I got, the rest of them. And then, like I said, I'm, I've been collecting these, like I said, since they came out. And this is Teen Titans issue number three. They're still not all together in this comic book. You know, they're still going their separate ways and stuff, but they're supposed to, at the end of this, I'm just going to show you some of the artwork in this. And see, there's their Red Robin there, fighting some giant monster right there. They're not all together yet, but they're, and there's a great shot, right, opening shot I don't want to show you right there of uh, a Flash, a Kid Flash there sh trying to save a, a new hero. His name is called um, Solace. Okay, there's a great shot, and there's a great panel right there of him racing around to try to get something to grab her with. Okay, and let me just show you the end. Okay, that's what. Well, let me just show you some of the artwork in here so I don't go totally nuts on this. I don't want to extend this video out too long. There's some great artwork, and the story is very compelling. You read it, but them, you know, they're not fully a team yet. It's like they're just laying the foundation of them getting together, and like I said, there's a great shot right there of a robot right on the right side, that side right there that Red Robin has to fight, which is looks total badass. Okay. And of course, in the last panel, uh, this it just tells you at the bottom here. Okay, if you look to the left, or if you look to while I'm tapping my fingers right there, the uh, winged creature that um, Red Robin fought with last year, she, she came out of her coma right there. Out of her, she, actually she was in a, a uh, not a coma, uh, a cocoon actually, and she came out of it, and she's normal now. But there, at the on the right hand side, it tells you at the bottom the Titans together at last: Red Robin, Kid Flash, Bunker, Skeeter, Solist, Wonder Girl, just in time to battle the Superboy. So next issue should be great because next issue should be them getting all together and then having to fight Superboy. Because if you remember from my previous update, Superboy was promised to get his freedom if he captured uh, Wonder Girl. Okay, and destroy the Titans. Well, not they're not the Titans yet, but destroy, you know, capture Wonder Girl and bring her back. Okay, for the group that's hunting the, the Man of Humans. Okay, and this next issue is uh, Superman issue number three. Again, in this issue, okay, I don't, like I said, I want to make this video last forever, so I'm just going to show you a little bit of the artwork. And then basically, in this comic book, um, Superman fights a creature right there, a frozen ice creature. That's um. Because remember in the previous issues, he had to fight a, a like a fire creature right there, and then a, a, and I think in the last issue he had to fight a, a creature that couldn't speak English or nothing, you know. And basically, this sto the story is about is a mystery about 
where these creatures are and you know who this creature and why they're attacking only Superman. And everybody's blame of course blame Superman for it. I'll show you a little bit of the artwork. There and a little bit more of the artwork right there. This woman reporter had actually been possessed by this ice creature and Superman's trying to stop her. Okay. And of course, at the end, uh, Superman prevails, but the, the woman gets the reporter that was possessed, she gets away. And if you look at not this panel, yeah, this panel right here, you see at the bottom there, she's meeting with two other creatures. Okay. And I think it says, let me make sure it says, uh, and they're speaking. It's supposed to be Kryptonian, of course, and, and they say this whisper uh, Superman, and then they also say Clark Kent. So apparently these creatures know who he really is. Okay, and that's a good issue. And the next issue I got was uh, Batman number three. Okay, and this one, uh, I think I have two other, Batman has a couple of titles out, and this is Batman number three. Okay, and this issue is uh, basically about him trying to find out who was these owl creatures, uh, if you remember the last issue, there was an assassin that tried to kill Bruce Wayne, of course, but he failed. And this issue is just about him trying to find out who, excuse me, <laughs> who these creatures are. Okay? And I can say, just show you a little bit of the artwork there, which is absolutely great. And right here, he's having a conversation with Alfred. If you look on the uh, right, right there, having a conversation with Alfred about his great great grandfather, because apparently these creatures, these um, owl people go way way back <laughs> okay and there's a shot of Bruce Wayne talking to his good friend who got attacked along with him when the guy assassin tried to assassinate him in the last issue trying to find out who these uh, our people are okay more conversation with them and okay there's a nice shot of Batman right there using a glider right there and he, he's, he first basically finds the spot where the assassin was hidden. And then he goes to that spot. And in that spot, could they basically explain how every every building doesn't have a 13th floor. And it was like a myth that started a long time ago. To, to I guess a superstition not to have a 13th floor. But in every building, there's supposed to be like a little spot reserved for the 13th floor, even though they don't call it the 13th floor. And then that spot, that's where he finds like pictures of these owl creatures and stuff. Right there, and you see he's investigating, doing detective work, and he finds it. Okay. And he's searching again, and Alfred's helping him, giving him the locations. They basically find out that these uh, creatures, these people, that these owl people have been using uh, a foundation that his great-great-grandfather set up to build these buildings and have their little secret locations. And you see there, there's more pictures of them. Right there, and he's going to different locations, and he finds out all this information. And of course, at the end, what a cliffhanger! The last building he goes into, this blows up, and you see at the bottom there an owl creature with an owl looking at the explosion. So <laughs> that's that. Okay, that's that issue. And let me just say, excuse me for a minute. <laughs> I'll pick up the two comics that fell. I also picked up the Blue Beetle number three issue. This is basically this the story about him. Getting Jamie Reyes getting used to the costume and stuff, and it's you know it's, it's a pretty good comic. He has humor and the artwork is decent in it. And then the last comic I got was a uh, red, the Red Hood Outlaws, which is red you know, the Red Hood, uh, uh, Starfire and uh, I was gonna say uh, not Speedy, <laughs> he's not Speedy, he doesn't go by the name of Speedy anymore. Uh, I got this. The hell's the name? I can't. Remember. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm drawing a blank on his name. Uh, but you know, Roy Hopper. You know, which is a uh, you know called the, you know Arsenal. That's what his name is. It used to be Speedy, of course. Okay, and there's yeah. I love the artwork in it, and the story is fantastic. Like uh, Arsenal is so sarcastic in this book, right there. And the and uh, Starfire in this comic book is a lot different than she was in the Teen Titans. Okay, I'm just going to show you some more of the artwork. The artwork is just pretty good, and the story is fantastic. Okay. There we go. Let me do a little of the artwork again. Right there. Okay. And just a little bit more of the artwork, which, is, like I said, is fantastic in there. 
Okay, and there's another great shot right there. Okay. Like I said, the story's well written and the artwork is great and it's just fantastic. Let me show you another great shot right there. Start by flying, carrying, you know, Arsenal and Red Hood. And I just want to show you this one great shot because uh, apparently in the beginning of this comic book to get they have to go on this journey to find out these, where these creatures are and before they go the price to pay to, to see these creatures they have to give up part of their memories and then they get it back when they come out and apparently when they come back out you know Arsenal takes his memory and Starfire takes her memories but Red Arrow decides to leave his memories that she can keep them that he doesn't want any more memories you know being raised by Bruce Wayne and of course becoming being Robin and they show you know a nice shot of uh of them in the back, you know. Well, let me show you. Let me go one panel back and show you this. That's where he tells them Red Hood. If you look at the bottom there, uh, let me show you. That. It's, I'm sorry. There we go. Right there at the bottom, uh, right, right here, where he tells them they can keep his memories. Tells that the, you know the Oracle person can keep his memories, and then they show the memory. One memory of him at Wayne Man, at Wayne Manor. Excuse me, right there. Where he's sick and he has to stay home. He can't go out patrolling. The Batman. Okay. And then there's a nice shot of uh, him in front of the TV. And then Batman comes in and tells him that everybody deserves a night off. <laughs> okay. And then there's a great shot right here. Let me show the last thing. Of them, you know, him. Let me just show you this nice, beautiful shot of him cuddled up there. <laughs> yeah. You know, with Bruce, you know, with Bruce Wayne right there, exactly. And I guess he doesn't, you know, just just to show you that he doesn't want any more nice memories and stuff. He's he's gonna be who he is from right now, from because that was before when he before he died. Because remember, in the comic books, Jason Todd, they got killed by the Joker, okay, and then he got resurrected, okay. So and he just, I guess, he wants nothing to do with any of those previous memories. So he's who he is right now, okay. So that's my pickups for you know, for this week for the comic books. Um, these are the same comic books I said in another earlier video that I had left in the store and Best Buy on my um, Black Friday Odyssey that I left them in the store so I had to go back Saturday and get them again but they're well worth it and let me know what you think of these titles and uh, you know will you hate them or they like them were you going to pick them up or not and feel free to leave comments below and this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care